Hello YouTube and welcome back to Dragoonfly Plays Night of the Earth Ends. We're uh, heading to the ruins to the north. Likely past that forest that was to the north. I, uh, I have to confess, I actually needed to sleep at the inn, so I went and fought a bit, and in the process... Oh, there's two caves. Likely this one. Oh, thieves. Bandits. Yeah, anyway, I, uh... I actually fought enough that I obtained the bandit style. So, uh, or the thief style, sorry. This is right, so we need to get rid of the boss of the demons here. I get the feeling that the demons are down there. I hope they quieten down a little once their boss has been done away with. Onward! Oh yeah, another thing that I found out. There's a map. It doesn't show you the entire dungeon, but it at least helps with your options. It the also shows you that, uh... Ooh, slimes, and they jumped me. It also shows you that there's, uh, secrets. I found out. I learned so much in just such a short while. I'm going to change my style over to feet. Start stealing from these guys. Because stealing in an RPG leads to money. Steal tons of things, sell them off, it all adds up. And we get an axe. An axe. It's a really good thing that I didn't buy that axe. Oh yeah, and apparently even when using a two-handed weapon, I think Rhea can still equip shields. And don't quote me on that, but that's what it looked like when I was in the equipment. I'm just gonna blow out all my FIFA uh, MP here. I'll save enough so that I can steal from the boss, because the boss likely has good stuff. Oops. Left hand rule works. So she doesn't steal with 100% accuracy. That's fine. Poison Amulet. Yes, yes, I will equip that, because if I get a Poison Amulet here, it means that something can poison me. She's got all my healing abilities, so she'll get the Poison Amulet. Since she, uh, I guess she can't really wear much anyway. Well, I mean, okay, that sounded worse than I meant it. That's, you know, yeah. Steal from slime. Well, it's hard to steal from a slime. They're very inconsistently uh, inconsistent. Well, paralyzed cure item of some sort. Uh, everything is so weathered and decayed here. It's more like some cave buried in the earth than a set of ruins. Eh. Yuniko, what's the matter? You've not been yourself ever since we left the castle. No, no, it's nothing, Rhea. If it's nothing, then please don't grin as if you're hiding something. You're not holding something back, are you? If there's something that might be of use to me, don't be afraid to let me know. Rhea? Right, then, here it goes. Please give me a great big hug. I can't wait for the day when you plant warm, wonderful kisses on my forehead, or on my cheeks, or wherever. Right, let's hurry on. Uh, Rhea, you're so mean and cold. Ah, uh, she's being a nuisance again. Hmm, I'm sure it's nothing more than a coincidence. Yep, she- oh, there's treasure down there. Yeah, uh, Yunika, I guess, has secrets. Not surprising. 
well, with her accessories that make her look like she's from an ancient mythical race. Yeah, I haven't seen that one played before. It's it's still always fun whenever it's done up, though. Actually, I wouldn't be shocked if she wasn't really a kid. They tend to do that a lot in JRPGs. It's like, you know, generally this rule of if the kid character doesn't have any secrets, then they're actually a kid. If the kid character does have secrets, they're like 500 years old. Gotta give the uh, Dojin Riders something to keep their head clean about, I guess. The encounter rate's not bad. I prefer roaming encounters myself, where you can see the monster walking around on the world map and like avoid, or on the dungeon map and avoid it. If you can. I am very glad that this game has a world map though. Like Android games are tending to have world maps, but uh, I'm really, I really lament that console RPGs don't really do the world map thing anymore. They'll just have like a menu. Cause I really like, nope, oh, I'm out of boom juice. Switch style. Wow. I got a lot of these now. Actually, this list is likely going to get pretty crazy. I miss, you know, being able to actually find secrets and things. You know, e even the Wild Arms games where you had the search function to find things, that was, uh, that was kind of cool. You know, you find something unexpected on the map. Or loot. They uh, they don't shy away from the treasure in this. That's good. Give your gamers a sense of accomplishment. I think that the modern version of that, if you're going to have a dead end, that it would likely be a good idea to uh, either put a treasure there or some sort of a little story bit or interesting note about the world. Or even just, you know, a cool scene, like, you know, a waterfall or something. Huh. I just look suspicious. thought that it was a secret, but I guess it's not. Up. Dead end. Gah, what was I just talking about? Put something interesting at your dead ends. I've got a game design background myself, but uh, I haven't actually made anything yet because I've, uh, I ran out of money. I've been fighting to get a visual novel done, which at one point was an RPG, but my course was all mostly business and theory and good, good. My class was mostly all theory and uh, business end of it. So I don't know any programming. And I'm old. I'm old, so when I was in high school, programming class was a crash course in Quick Basic because it was the newest, coolest thing. Computers were things that uh, people figured only the elite geniuses of society would ever use. Rhea got her head kicked in. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do it this way. Yeah, I can. That is wonderful. Rest up, Rhea. Put your head on you and Ika's lap and let the dojins fly. Actually, that type of talk can really creep some people out, so I'm not going to uh, do that much. I'm an anime fan and know, like, you know, all the stuff that goes with it, but uh, a lot of people who watch this video, I guess, won't be, so they might be confused by some of the terminology. Or scared. Smokescreen. 
Huh. That's nice. Although I find that usually if you're running away from a battle, it's either because you're just too, uh, you don't want to put up with the fighting, or uh, the monster's kicking your head in anyway, and thus would be strong enough to let the smoke screen want to work. Nice. I wonder if Demon's better than Beast. This is likely it. Yeah. I'm gonna heal up first. I totally lost track of how late in the video I am or how early, so I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, let's see here. Oh. I'm going to change her style back to Thief. And use an MP regenerating item up. Because if I'm fighting a boss, I'm going to want to steal from it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to call the video here regardless of what time it is, just because I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm over time anyway. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you when we fight this boss next. Bye.